1903, near Buxton, Arizona. Oh, land sakes! You scared me out of my wits! What are you doing here? What's the matter? What's the trouble, Travis? There's been another murder. Another one? Old man Watson found the body. A woman again? I'm afraid so. Let's find out about it. She was strangled, all right. Same as Mary Collins last month. She was on her way home from choir practice, too. When they found the Collins girl, were the contents of her purse scattered around like this? Yeah. Folks figured the killer dumped her purse out looking for money. But the killer didn't take Mrs. Norwood's money. Think the same man killed both of them? Well, both victims were women. Both were strangled the same way. And both times, the contents of the victim's purse were scattered around. But nothing was taken except the purse itself and a pair of gloves. Don't add up. Where's any motive? Some killers don't need a motive. You mean the killer's a maniac? That's the only way I can make it add up. If there was a maniac hanging around, wouldn't somebody have noticed him? Well, sometimes people who are insane seem to be perfectly normal. Then it could be anyone in town. Too many footprints around here to be any help to us. Take a look over there. Yes, Captain. Mr. Norwood, I'm sorry about what's happened, and I don't want to bother you. But I wonder if you could answer a few questions. Captain Reining! What have you got? Footprints. Not bad. Inside corner of the left heel missing. About size 10. Pretty big man, I'd say. Think we can track him? I doubt it. But these prints give us plenty to work on. Find the man wearing boots with a heel to match these prints. We've got our killer. Sam, it's time to get up. Come on, get up, son. Ned's coming down the road. Thanks, Ma. I'm your stepmother, not your aunt. I'm sorry, it just sort of slipped out. There's been a lot of excitement uptown. Been another murder. This time it was Mrs. Norwood. Hickey Watson told me about it. Said they found Mrs. her up in... Mrs. Norwood? Yeah, he said they found her up in the wood, right this side of the meadow. Same way as they found Mary Collins. Folks think some lunatic did it. You know, like those killings back in Plainview? I told you never to mention Plainview again. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry, Ma. I wouldn't have said anything about it if I know it made you so upset. Oh, I, I, I'm not upset. Well... Don't you worry, Ma. I'm not going to let you out of my sight until I catch that fellow. Sam's not feeling well. I, I think I'll go out and see how he is. Did, did you go out last night? No. I mean, I don't think I did. But your, your, your boots are muddy. I don't remember, Ma. 
promised I don't. Oh, you never do remember, Sam. What are we going to do? Was, was it as bad as last time? Who, who was it? Mrs. Norwood. Mrs. Norwood? Oh, Sam, I thought if I took you away from Plainview, away from the memories of those other times, you, you might get better. I've tried, Ma, I've tried. Oh, I know you have, son. I always liked Mrs. Norwood. You, you weren't yourself, Sam. Why do I have to do these things? Why do I have to be this way? It, it was the war. Other men fought in Cuba. If I had any courage, if I wasn't such a coward, no, I... No, no. Four people already have died on account of me. There'll be others. No, no, don't say that. You're going to get better. I know you will. Oh, your loving me won't cure me, Ma. Well, we'll move again. We will. We, we'll, I won't give up. You're all I have in the world. You have Ned? No, I, I married Ned's father to take care of you, and I'm going to go on taking care of you no matter what happens. Oh, Ma. Oh. What did Mr. Carter say about the sketch? Never sold a boot like it. That's a bad break. Just the opposite. Now we know the man's a newcomer or he can afford to send away for his boots. You got the list ready? Yeah. These folks moved here within the last year. These others over two years ago. Now we'll check the newer ones first. How do we split them up? Uh, the Austins, the Betts, and the Fallens live west of town. The Walkers and the Gorhams to the east. Now I'll take the last two, Walker and Gorham. You handle the others. <laughs> Walker? Yeah, that's right. Mine's Riding, Arizona Rangers. Ah, pleased to meet you. You investigating the murder? Yes, I figure if I see enough people and ask enough questions, I might be able to... What's the matter? What are you looking at? Your boots. Oh, my boots? Yes, I've been wanting a pair like that for some time. What size do you wear? Oh, uh, size 8, uh, but I think it'd be too small for you. Anybody else in the family have the same kind? Oh, Sam. Sam's be too big for you. Sam? Oh, my stepbrother, Sam Hudson. Is he around? Yeah, that's why he's sick in bed. I don't think we can go. Come on, I'd like to see him. All right. Ma? Ma, someone here wants to see you. Ma? Yes? I'm Captain Riding, Mrs. Walker. The Ranger? That's right. I wonder if I could talk to your son a moment. Sam? Yes. Well, why do you want to see him? Just some routine questions. He's ill and he, he mustn't be disturbed. I'm afraid it can't be helped, Mrs. Walker. Where's his room? It's upstairs, but you... Thank you. I'm taking you in.
I don't know, I tell you. I didn't kill Mrs. Norwood. I don't know anything about it. Then why did you run away when I came out to question you? I wasn't running away. I saw you riding after me and I got scared, that's all. Oh. You were sick in bed, but you climbed through a window just to go for a ride, is that it? What about the footprints by Mrs. Norwood's body? They match your boots perfectly. You keep saying the same things over and over. I don't know anything about it. I've told you everything I know. Why don't you leave me alone? Because we want the truth. Mrs. Norwood was carrying this purse when she was murdered. How did it get in your bureau drawer? I put it there. Uh, I mean, I, I found it out by the road. When? Th this morning. According to your mother, you were in bed all morning. I, I got up early, before Ma was awake. What did you do with Mrs. Norwood's gloves? I didn't do anything with them. All I found was a purse. Why don't you quit lying? You killed Mrs. Norwood and we know it. <laughs> I did kill her. I never even went out of the house. Ask my ass, Ned. They'll tell you. We'll ask. Don't worry. In the meantime, Hudson, if you decide to tell us the truth, just sing out. May I see my son now? After a few questions. I have nothing to say except that my boy's innocent. I can understand your feeling, Mrs. Walker. But we have enough evidence to convict him a hundred times over. Don't believe him, Moy. He's just trying to scare you. Sam's footprints were found at the scene of the crime. Mrs. Norwood's purse was found in his room. And given time, we'll probably find the gloves. In addition, he ran away to avoid being questioned. And in the last hour, we've caught him telling lie after lie. I swear he didn't leave the house last night. A jury might admire a mother's courage and devotion and still not believe her. If they, if they find him guilty, what will they do to him? Now, you know the answer as well as I do. You mean they'll hang him? That depends. Oh, no, no, they, they can't hang him. He wasn't himself. He didn't know what... You'd better tell us the truth, Mrs. Walker. It was the war. He got some kind of a fever in Cuba, and when he came home, he was so changed, I... I hardly knew him. He was nervous and short-tempered. He had spells when he'd do things and couldn't remember afterward. What sort of things? Strange, cruel things that they weren't a bit like him. And I didn't know what to do. You could have taken him to a doctor. Oh, no, I, I was afraid. His stepfather was dead and there wasn't money to send him to a place where he'd be treated kindly. Ma. Why didn't you let me know? Maybe I could have helped. When... When that girl in Plainview was killed and I found her handkerchief in Sam's room, I... I should have gone to the police, but... I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I just couldn't. Don't cry, Ma. Please don't cry. I'm to blame for what's happened. Those girls in Plainview. Mary Collins. Poor Mrs. Norton. I'm more guilty of murder than he is. I'm the one you should take. <laughs> Mrs. Walker, I don't want... All right, Whining, freeze him out. It's Norwood, they're coming for Sam. You and your mother go out the back way. But I... Do as I tell you, hurry. Come on, Mom. We mean business, Whining. We're gonna take care of that murdering devil in our own way. Hang is too good for him. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hear me? Bring Hudson out, or we come in and get him. There we will. I'd better go out and talk to him before they wreck the place. Captain, you can't reason with a mob like that. I'm gonna try. Back me up. Tell your friends to go home, Norwood. We're not leaving till we get the man we come for. They're going to leave and leave quietly. After what that fiend did to Ellen, I'm going to see he gets what's coming to him. He'll get what's coming to him. But it'll be done legally. After a jury hears the facts. We know the facts. Now get out of our way. But stay where you are. Travis is inside covering you. Now I don't know who he's aiming at. But if this place isn't cleared by the time I count three, I'll order him to shoot. You're bluffing. You know better than that. One. Two. He 
could be aiming at you. Do you think it's worth it? Let the law do its own dirty work. I know exactly how you feel, Mr. Norwood. But it has to be this way. <laughs> That was sure close. Won't be so easy next time. Next time? What do you think is going to happen when they find out the law doesn't hang a man who's insane? They'll tear this place apart. We've got to get Hudson out of here. Put the handcuffs on him and take him around the back. I'll get the horses. What did Ma tell you? I was home all night, wasn't I? No, she told the truth. The truth? I won't go to an asylum. I won't be locked up with a bunch of lunatics. Hold out your hand. What for? They've taken you away. No! How'd it happen? I guess I got careless. How do you feel? <laughs> like cutting my throat. You can't have much of a start. Round up a posse. You probably head for his ranch. Ranch? If you think he's on hiding out, he need food and clothes. Come on. Sam, how'd you get here? What do you got in your hand? Uh, nothing. Looks like a pair of women's gloves. Are they Mrs. Norwood's? Uh, yeah, I just found them. You must have left them there last night. I you... saw you walk direct to that wood box. That means you knew they were there. How would I know? Because you put them there. That means you killed Mrs. Norwood. No. It's been you all the time, not me. Oh, no, wait, Sam. Why else would you lie about finding those gloves? You're the killer. No, wait, Sam. I couldn't help it. Honest, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help killing all those women. Something inside of me made me do it. It, it was like being sick, like, like living in a nightmare. What kind of a nightmare do you think I've been living in? Ma wouldn't think twice about turning me in. I knew she'd protect you. Go on. Well, after I found out how I was, I, I took to wearing your clothes, and, and then I drugged you so you wouldn't wake up. Oh, that's why I couldn't remember. Sam, it was the only way. I knew Ma would find out sooner or later, and I was afraid she'd put me away. Oh, I ought to kill you. No. Don't worry. I'm turning you over to Ryan. That, that's not the answer either, Sam. I think it is. Get moving. If you turn me in, it'll be your word against mine. And the evidence still points to you. Oh, are you... Kill me and you'll have one more murder on your hands. And with me dead, we'll take care of Ma. I've still got you, Sam. Stay where you are. Sam, there's only one thing for you to do. Just keep on running. Now go on, while you still have the chance. I'm turning you in. Maybe they won't believe me at first, but... Captain... Captain Riney? Yes. It was an accident. Tried to get gone away from Sam. Don't waste your strength talking. Uh, lots to say. Not much time. You lie here quiet. I'll go for a doctor. No, no, no. No, wait. I killed Mrs. Norwood, Captain. I killed all the others, too. It was me, not Sam. You did? Yeah. I always hated Sam. More love, more love Sam, not me. I guess there's no use hating Sam now, though, is it? No. I knew Ma would protect Sam. So when I found out how I was, I, I made her think that Sam was the one. I, I took to wearing his clothes. I drugged him. And then I... Come 
Don't be a fool, Hudson. We got you trapped. There's your answer. I'm going to give you one more chance to give yourself up. If you don't take it, we're coming after you. You can't reason with a maniac. Yeah, I guess you're right. Johnson, you and Williams move up when I do. Rest of you men, keep them pinned down. Your brother confessed. My brother's dead. I killed him. Before he died, he told me everything. You're lying. It's a trick. Oh, no, you don't get me that easy. He's off his rocker. What do we do? Let him stay there till he calms down. He's wounded, you know. Bad? No way of telling. Then we'll have to get him out of there. Listen to me, Sam. You're innocent. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You're lying! Sam, I'm taking my gun belt off. I'm coming over to have a talk with you. Captain, he'll kill you. I'm betting he won't. Don't come any closer. You're not a very good shot, are you, Sam? Next time, I'll kill you. Stay back. You're no killer, Sam. You didn't kill those women. And you're not going to kill me. Nobody's going to lock me up. I'm not spending the rest of my life in an asylum. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Now, put down the gun. No. Go ahead and use it. All right. I will. I can't. It's all right, Sam. Everything's going to be all right, son. Ned, did they tell you I... It was an accident. What happened wasn't your fault. That I... I'm free? We're both free. Oh, Ma. It was March 20, 1903. And I was two days overdue at headquarters. This is the story of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. I is the glory of 26 men whose courage helped to build the territory. 26 men who saddled up and then rode up to answer duty's call. 26 men who lived to ride again and fight for the rights and the liberty of all. This is the story of 26 men enforcing law within the territory. Praise be the glory of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. Ride on.